You're watching Ride Like a Local with Belt Drive Betty. I'm at the Watchman Crew's morning poker run here on uh, June 9th, Grand Prairie, Alberta, being joined by the Vice President, Darren Stubbs. Darren, what are we out here for today? Well, we're just out here for, uh, it's the first, one of the first poker runs, I think, of the season, so just get people out riding bikes, and we get to meet lots of people, and uh, uh, people are like-minded and have the same ideas that they want around motorcycles to cruise around to have a good time. So get some Grand Prairie folks together and enjoy it. We're raising money for we call our Christmas Angel. So every year we'll make a donation to a family um, in need at Christmas time. Last year there was a couple young girls that were uh, foster kids in a really tough situation. And we found out about them and were quick to uh, donate uh, a significant amount of money that we had, significant for us. But uh, that's the important part. That's part of what we do. So uh, we're excited to continue that tradition and raising money here really helps and we do it in other ways. A lot of it even comes out of the personal funds of the members themselves, that's what we believe in, but it's just it's great to get together and enjoy. It really is great to get together and just get out, enjoy the camaraderie, enjoy the air. And this morning you get a couple of people that are making some awesome pancakes yeah. and sausage. Yeah. Let's give them a little kudos. Yeah, for sure. So we got Keith Barron, he's our uh, one of our founders and he's connected with Secure Energy and they have donated the trailer that you can see back there and the food and drinks and all that sort of stuff to make sure that all the money can go to uh, the charity that we choose and stuff. So great support for Secure. They support so many events uh, around and a lot of charities and stuff. So what an awesome company to have in our community. Yes, the Grand Prairie is blessed to have a lot of people um, business owners that truly believe in this community and what it does and all of the charity work that so many riders do. Let's talk just a few minutes about some of the different organizations that we've supported in the year, you know, the last year or so. Um, last year, you guys were out for the old school toy run. You were out for the Noise for Toys yep. run. Lots of kids stuff. Why kids? Why kids? Um, well, Kids are the most, one of the most vulnerable people in our community, at least they can be um, in situations. And, and you're gonna build good adults from a solid foundation from a good childhood. So it's really important that if kids are involved in sports, kids have good Christmases, kids have healthy, functional lives. And we can help out a little bit, we can't do it all, but we even, you know, I can remember being a child and one person might have an effect to change my life and change the direction of my life. One event can do that one event, one good Christmas, where, hey, somebody actually cares about me, the, the, the community cares about me, they do things for us, and uh, it, it makes a big difference in how they're shaped when they grow up into adulthood, and hopefully they get back. Well, and that's just the thing, every person needs to remember that we have an impact on the person, the people that we hurt, good or bad, and we can oftentimes make somebody's really rough day great just by simply saying, geez, you got beautiful blue eyes, or geez, I really like your jacket, and they all of a sudden stand a little prouder, you know, so those things are hugely important. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, helping people out, building up the self-confidence, it builds up the community, it really does. Uh, you get stronger people, and and usually, you know, they'll move into where they're, they're part of the community too. So, so yeah, we, we think it's important. The Watchman crew here in Grand Prairie doing good things. In the heart of the Canadian Badlands is Drumheller, runner-up community in Canada's most rider-friendly community contest 2017. We invite you to come experience the hospitality, drink in the views of one of Canada's most unique and haunting landscapes, Drumheller, Alberta. I'm at the Watchman Cruise Poker Run here in Grand Prairie, and I'm uh, finally hooking up with Danielle, who has, like me, been on a little bit of a mission of self-improvement. That's a good word, right? Yes, definitely. So let's talk about the benefits 
and the drawbacks of being a female motorcyclist who loses lots of weight and how expensive that really is. Well, gear is not cheap. <laughs> and you have to replace it all because if it doesn't fit right, it hurts, it's uncomfortable, and you're cold. Isn't that the truth? I've lost a lot of weight, but this lady, she's been busting her arse. And it seems to be a theme of women our age. We want to get back into shape because we all love motorcycling and we want to be able to do this for another 20 or 30 years like Gloria um, uh, struck there yeah. from the States. Yeah. I think, you know, I want to be 90 and still riding. What about you? Definitely. 90 is like the bottom of the line here. We want to be 110 and still riding and fit and healthy and comfortable and happy. Exactly. You know, so tell me, why are you out here for this poker run today? Well, it's uh, good for the community. They're doing the uh, Christmas hamper that they're do they're sponsoring a family. Um, it's all a good cause. It's about helping the community out. It's about becoming aware in the community, so the community knows that we're not all, you know, a bunch of bad guys. We give back. We contribute. We help out where we can. Yeah, it's um, there's you know it seems like every riding season our community comes under fire uh, for the people who are disrespectful with their pipes. Uh, for people who like to wear three-piece patches. Um, somehow, the powers that be think that we're all just, you know, tarred with the same brush and we're all bad. And you and I both know it couldn't be any farther from the truth. People are people. Doesn't matter what you wear, doesn't matter what you ride, doesn't matter what you drive. There's good people, there's bad people, there's people in between. Uh, you have to look at people and judge them for who they are, not what they're wearing, riding, it's their causes. It's their, it's their they're human. It's how they treat me. I mean, you know, when I'm in a big crew of people, if someone's being disrespectful, I find a different place to go and be, right? If, if people are nice and kind and polite, they're the kind of people I want to be around, right? Exactly. It's no different than anything else. It's just our lifestyle is about the bike and riding, and you find the people you enjoy being around, and that's who you should hang around. Find your own tribe, folks. This is Bell Drive Betty. We're at the Watchman Cruise Poker Run here in Grand Prairie. Next segment, we'll catch up with a little bit more to do with the Watchman Crew. On the Alberta Saskatchewan border is a welcoming city that was recently crowned as Canada's most rider-friendly community of 2017, Lloyd Minster. From rider-friendly businesses to great events, Lloyd Minster, Canada's most rider-friendly community, come experience it. That's all our time for this week, folks. Join me next week as we spend some time in my hometown, Grand Prairie, with members of the Watchman crew at their poker run, and then with the ladies from Noise for Toys and their ladies' ride.